All right, all right, all right. What's good, people of the world? I am on NBA 2K16. I'm about to do a fantasy draft. I have to, you know what I'm saying, do my my career video still where I go back to every 2K and play the my career. But for now, um, I just saw my league was screaming at me. I want to do a fantasy draft. Here's what I'm going to do to determine what team I pick. Random number generator, 1 through 30, and it's 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Can't, uh, the Clippers? You know what? Screw it. They were in their era during this time. We'll, we'll, we'll bring the Clippers to the promised land. That's nasty, though. That's nasty. I will let you know. That is nasty. You know what though? Doc Rivers, let's do it. All right. And the draft, um, all this stuff. I mean, I'm rebuilding it. So, okay. Where are we picking? I don't know. Who, wh who's the Grizzlies? Anthony Davis, first overall pick. Oh, man. Intriguing. Curry. Okay. LeBron is still 30. Oh, my God. There's only, I think those are the only 90 overall players. Tim Duncan. Oh, yeah. Chris Paul and Tim Duncan might be 90 as well, but that's about it. Melo, maybe too. John Wall. Boogie. Dang. Oh, yeah. Melo's an 88. Where, where are we picking at? Holy. Are we at the bottom? No we're 28 i'm not gonna lie i might cheat like if i draft a young player that has good potential i might say screw it you know what i'm saying give me uh up his potential okay here we go now that i just saw that wiggins is drafted so this is the 2015 season so yeah those type of guys gotta have super high potential 2015 16 i mean right right yeah yeah it has to be oh there there goes one there goes one. Oh man Giannis. do i just draft Giannis here and then edit him and make him cool honestly though like oh derrick Ro dang prime still kind of prime Derrick Rose he's an 84 but like you know what I'm saying he's still he's still there does this show a player's potential on this screen uh no once again Giannis if your potential is bad I'm just simply going to edit it I'm going to edit it I don't care oh, they, oh wait oh oh no, no no so this is 20 oh so Towns is the rookie not Wiggins Wiggins just got drafted though but Towns has to dang only a B what the hell and beat is in here as well then oh no 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 and beats a year prior D'Angelo oh man what an era what an era All right, before we go any further want to shout to prize picks prize picks is the best place to play daily fantasy sports available in over 30 states if you use the code click you get 100 back and up to 100 dollars your first deposit it's how it works let's say i think Giannis is going to score less than 33 and a half points it's a lot of points maybe he doesn't get that many who knows you click less and keep it pushing franz wagner i think 16 and a half is too low for him he's real nice go for more with franz or at least i'm gonna go for more with franz 14 points for markel fultz i love markel fultz i think he's gonna get more than 14 points against toronto damian lewis scoring a hell of a lot of points recently but 36 is a lot 36 is a lot for damian lewis i'm going for Less. Lastly, I'm going for turnovers. Scotty Barnes a little bit loose with the ball recently. I'm going to say that he gets more than one and a half turnovers. So look at this. He clicked more and boom. If you get five correct plays, you get 10 times the amount of money you put down $20 and a 200 or you get four correct plays and you're still going to win $40. Free collect, get some dollars back. Thank you to Price for sponsoring this video. Remember to use code click. Click the link in the description. Get the 100% back and up to $100 your first deposit. Now to get back into the video. Jaleel. Jaleel too. Yep. Yep. Him. And then obviously Porzingis got to be somewhere. Porzingis, I think, started off at like a 75. So I don't know where he's at. But dang, that's the no, that those are the real young players dang oh and d d book is the youngest player watch out for drafting him for sure yep i told you porzingis 74 he's got an a minus potential i don't remember how potential Jokic, a fake Jokic. look at him look at him look at him in his eyes wait on this screen it says that towns is an a potential but on this one it says he has a b who's lying to me who's not and the honest says it says a minus i think of my first two picks i'm gonna establish a real nice future front court i'm gonna go with carl towns i'm gonna go with carl towns with this pick and then i'm gonna hope that for a few more picks Giannis last so as long okay jaleel okafor just got picked and kobe just went to the heat and yeah jaleel went right after so i'm in the right range to be doing this but yeah where's mr adeto kunbo i don't care what once again yeah don't care give me honest uh the, did d'angelo not get picked yet dang derrick rose went a whole round later oh there go jabari parker and d'angelo russell right there jared sullinger is insane isaiah thomas fell dumb far joel mb there he finally goes julius randall rookie randall or actually no second year although he barely played his rookie year anyways um at this point i mean everybody's pretty tra oh is it is it a very very young drew holiday okay not wouldn't be the worst pick in the world especially because we don't have a guard yet mm, when it comes to potential aaron gordon is this rookie aaron gordon nah aaron gordon is just that young because he was drafted in 2014 would he be good as a i mean i think Giannis was still listed as a small forward so would he be would we have Giannis at small forward him a power forward i don't know and michael carter williams is like, still has good potential oh he's 23 though yeah no they're, he's cooked porzingis is still available nah that might be the pick i'm gonna actually i'm gonna draft you know i'm do i'm gonna draft what's his name i'm gonna get drew holiday and then get porzingis hopefully porzingis levine too but levine's for sure gonna stick around for a second yeah i think drew holiday is the best pick here 25 year old young man give me drew holiday hopefully porzingis can go like two more picks young man there he is so we'll have a front court of porzingis Giannis, and towns which is two good rim protecting defenders at the very least i did see that towns block is a what's it called and obviously i mean shoot if booker's still around in a second i could draft him too oh there he goes devin booker 
to the Nuggets. At this point, though, we're pretty trash and are going to be tanking regardless. I feel like Drew was still a good pick, though. Zach Levine, are you going to be the pick, though? What's the A minus? Rashawn Holmes. Dang, CJ McCollum still a 72. This is right after, I guess, Lamarcus left. Yeah, that's why. That's why he's he's like that. All right, give me Zach Levine. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna check over uh, the best players first. Any like middle of the pack? Lance Stevenson, 24 years old. The crazy thing though is that that's when he peaked. All right, Zachary. Zach Levine, welcome to the team. Screw it, since we don't have an actual small forward, bringing Kelly Oubre too. Maybe we'll bring Porzingis off the bench or something. Maybe we just won't play them, and these will just be like uh, stash players. Reggie Evans. Oh, they got Nick Young old self. I think Evan Fournier was 22. Andre Roberson was 23. You know who was that dude with that uh, really good potential that I saw? Yeah, I'm down for an experiment. Sean Holmes, A minus. Screw it, draft them. Dang, they got KG McDaniel's too. The goal. Give me Evan Fournier. Why not? Oh, is this back in the era of doing 2K drafts? You could actually see your team. Wait, wait. Yep, there it is. My team. Look at that. Wow, isn't that crazy? The luxury. I didn't realize Zach Levine was a point guard. Yeah, he might. He might become our sixth man. Why not? That actually is probably more realistic for his potential rating. I should probably start drafting good players. Um, I mean, oh wait, probably too late for that actually go dj augustine for the hell of it austin rivers the goal orlando's finest oh my god i just realized you're still here but you're not even real Jokic though you should you might as well just go undrafted i don't want fake Jokic. screw it i'll draft him anyways whatever every single good young player is gone you know who's like the only one left that's under what was it 23 it was a 70 overall oh dang even he is an under 23 matthew della Vadova. screw it um yeah sure wait season my miles yeah your contract's all right this is the last pick yep all right for sure drafting a troll oh you don't Honest. Any Clippers? I just remember, yeah, we're the Clippers. Any Clippers legends? Oh, Pablo. Pablo actually played for the Clippers, I'm pretty sure, at the end of his career. This is barely even Joe Ingles. Joe Ingles has never had this much hair. Oh, Clippers legend to the fullest. I remember using this man in either 2K15 or 16. I think it was this game. And just cooking people, like my friend specifically. Bobon, Clippers legend. All right, let's exit the draft. It's time for, I don't know. We can't load a draft class, so screw it, auto generated. But even then, we're, yeah, we're tanking. Yeah, Giannis is a small forward, so our whole front court is set screw it tj miles can start i'm gonna see what levine is as a two guard he went up to a 73 so he could start now or just be the lead sick man that works too on top of that yeah that's right i'm a sicko let me see Giannis's potential 84 all right i'm gonna give you a uh honestly just go 89 especially in this game just go 89 i'm not i'm not you know what i'm saying gonna drag it or nothing what about towns though what's towns 89 oh wow all right maybe i maybe i picked a good number Porzingis is a 82 i mean you are only a 74 levine's only a 78 so yeah we're, we're not looking at crazy uh potential here Anything these draft class players good shoot i don't know vladimir novak jackson house dude i guess we'll see dang these these menus used to be so nice these the modern 2k menus are some of the worst menus ever view picks we don't have our first i should have reset the picks I'll, I'll just go steal it oh there it is clippers first from the buck dang but i like all my players uh do i really care about della vadova no no i really don't dang i can't do that oh actually wait yeah, what am i talking about just give him a pick give him this future second round pick all right cool thank Porzingis contract extension undecided what are you talking about how do you have a one-year deal you're a rookie how is that even possible what happened there what undecided i'm about to just give him the deal that is that is dumb very rookie bro brody take this four-year deal original contract length four years imagine what year you're in buddy the four yeah you're one that's it i, I ain't gonna overset my boundaries but i mean i want you to stay around for all four years here take the deal what type of trades they offer when we put them in just derrick rose for Giannis. what about towns and Giannis? rudy gay I and mean, lee was kind of dead back in these days wasn't it Giannis and porzingis can get us a prime zach randolph like I could have drafted anyway. Dang, AD, the first overall pick. And they gave him young Jabari Parker and Miles Turner. And they still got Eric Gordon. They brought Eric Gordon back to him. Not gonna lie, the rest of their team is garbage, though. We'll be pretty insane within like a year. So far, though, I'm looking pretty trash. Nine and yeah, not good. And we just got offered a trade from the first time. Just to say, uh, we could just decline it, whatever. We are 15th. I didn't even intentionally tank. This is just the normal team playing. Why would I trade for JJ Barea willingly? Young Bobby Portis? No, nah, I'll keep Drew. Miritich? No. Would I like to stop uh, and make some offers? I mean, DJ Augustine's expiring anyways. Is there any way I could just um throw DJ Augustine in there and get a pick? DJ Augustine for Danny Granger in a second? Sure. I don't care. I was about to say, dang, our first round pick has a lot of value. Could he get us Monte Ellis? And then I realized how crazy that sentence sounded. We only have 19 wins. Season over. We are, I believe we ended up the worst. Steph Curry of the Wizards won the MVP. Cat won rookie of the year, averaging 18, 14, and three blocks. Manu, six man of the year, 17 on the Lakers. Dante Exum, most improved player oh man from 15 to 16 the the enemy in 15 to the savior i guess of of the cavaliers oh wow he actually played for them dang he isn't in the nba anymore that's crazy and curry's team is the best team oh clippers carl towns makes the second team in his rookie season with those otherworldly numbers although he can't shoot threes yet carl towns and porzingis make the all rookie first team porzingis averaged 12 and 8 not bad
not bad. It's actually pretty good. Joel Embiid makes the all rookie team because he didn't play his first season. Dang, D'Angelo averaged. Dang, D'Angelo averaged 17, 5, and 6. Yeah, I, I wish I could have got all the rookies, but hey, it is what it is. Oh, yeah. No, this is an ugly playoff looking thing. Like, this doesn't look that. The new playoff stuff does look better, but hey, we'll take it. I mean, not like we'll take it. I don't have no place in saying anything. We lost. Let's check our stats, player stats. Yeah, Drew averaged 13, sure. CJ Miles averaged 13 on 41% for the field. I knew he was going to be crazy and efficient. My God. Giannis only 12 points with seven rebounds and four assists, which is pretty good. Zach Levine, 10 and five. And the rest are, yeah, no, we don't care. Sorry, Jokic. We don't care. Oh, LeBron's on the Spurs. Wow. What a, what a convenience, huh? Jesus. The Celtics had KG, Ray Allen, and Jason Terry again. And they had Vince Carter. And the Knicks got uh, Jamal Crawford again. And also Manu is retiring after winning six, man. James Jones is going to go become a GM. All Literally their whole entire team, except for Steve Nash that wasn't on the team, made the, uh, what's it called? God, the second ranked player is alfred payton not alfred payton alfred payton we haven't even got to the draft lottery yet it is time we gotta be number one right we gotta be number one clippers number one hey we got our pick back and everything nick's first one hey if you hold down it speeds it up dumb fast pacers oh yeah this is perfect speed this is yo 2k dog this is perfect hawks are gonna stay there pelicans stay at 10 they're not moving up for zion sixers they staying at nine thunder yep sorry no luck yet mavericks are gonna move up into the top three because that's how it was back in this day Suns move down. Magic. Oh, the Cavs. Oh, no, the Magic move up. Clippers. What the? What the hell? We got leapfrogged by three teams. You got to be kidding me. Oh, that is so garbage. We got cooked. I think we fell the lowest we possibly could have back in this day. Staff signing. Oh, Doc ain't here no more. No, get Doc back. Get Glenn back. I don't care. It's funny. He wants five million. Sure, take it. Oh, hey, Monty. Is that Monty, right? All right. Oh, it's Sam Cassell. Oh, dang. I just took a Glenn. Look like Wendell Carter at the Matthew Thomas spot. Jordan Malone this dude was always the Knicks GM and he was mad good. Doc Rivers, welcome back, buddy. The beard said, no, no, no. How can the magic jump from fourth to first? Hashtag conspiracy, hashtag lame. Damn, you, you can't make a trade until the NBA draft day in this? Wait, let me see. Okay, there it is. I was going to put a couple, good couple of players up on here, but pick four and put Porzingis? Nah. DJ Miles and Kelly Oubre, let's see. Oh, yeah, sorry, I voice cracked again. Uh, you know, my body's running out of nutrients and I don't sleep. Why is Miles Turner so valuable, dog? That He is not that valuable. All these trades are straight straight garbage except for maybe the chris bosh one that's a maybe he's 32 this one's not terrible it's not terrible it'd make you a solid team off rip but no that's funny we could trade up from four to three by trading Jokic. <laughs> we could trade Jokic to the uh to the rocket honestly i'll just stay strong at the fourth pick screw it we suck well, well we're young we'll be back next year anyways dang they got the whole draft presentation where's adam at the magic first overall mm -hmm. jackson house what overall i think it's at 78 78 21 years old that's pretty good second pick dallas are they gonna draft Alfred. Yeah. Third pick Rockets. They pick up Sam Mack. No clue that is. All right. We've received 16 trade offers. I'll check them out now. Why not? Pick five and Aaron Baines. I'm good on that. Pick 14 Niguidala. Pick 20 and old dude. Devin Booker and pick 12. Oh man. None of these are good enough. Sorry, Draymond. Oh dang. The Wizards have Draymond and Curry because I remember Curry won MVP over there. Let's do some scouting. This music is dumb annoying. I'm about to mute it for a second. Dang. This guy is really bad at three things and they want me to draft him at four. What the hell? He's also a center. We don't need a center. Dang, the next couple of dudes are all bigs. That really sucks. We could have used one of these two for sure. Definitely one of these two. Hell, even Sam Mack. I'm not going to lie. We might pull the Sixers, though. I might draft Lyle if he's ranked three and it says he's a B rating, B overall, just because he's the best. But even if, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Abe Gill, 20 years old. C plus, good at shooting. Holy hell. Antonis Belides from Greece averaged 30 and 11. It is probably in Greece, though. So I don't know. The Dang, Lyle only averaged the 14 and 11 with four blocks, though. I'm getting the vibes of this dude is probably like the Ennis Cantor and the other guys like the, I wanted to say the, I don't know. How was he averaging 30 yet? He's bad at everything except inside scoring. Yeah, I don't know. I'm seeing flu. A minus potential. Am I buying it? I don't know. Antonis Belides and Lyle Falk are both going top four in every single mock draft, but I'm getting Rudy Gobert vibes from Lyle. He's also two years older. I'm getting like just tall Luca vibes from Antonis. And I don't think he's that good yet, but he might have that potential because it said A minus potential. You know what? 
know what? I'm gonna go with him. There's a reason why he's ranked that high. If his if his ratings are that bad, there's gotta be a reason why he's ranked that high. And we also can't see this dude's ratings because we didn't scout him well enough. So you know what? Our team wanted to scout him. Let's go with Antonis here. I'm terrified. Where's the pick? Did the draft just freeze? Did the draft just froze. It's pretty funny. I had to close the app, the entire app. I was actually kind of excited for Belides. Watch they take him now. I bet they take him. I'm pissed. If they take him at three and they take the same dude's top two, I'm gonna be pissed. Really mad, actually. Second pick, it is Alfred again. Okay. Please take your stupid shooting guard from seven picks later. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Never mind. That works. That works. What overall is he? 77. Not bad. Pretty good. But um, oh, he he was a B overall, to be fair. That was his best trait. I already saw the trade offers. I'm ready to pick. The Clippers, we are going with Antonis Belides. Please pick the player. There it is. It worked this time. Okay, good, good, good. What overall? I'm terrified. I mean, it was a B minus. He had to be pretty good, right? Oh, it doesn't show it unless you're top pick. Dang. Imagine we could sign a fire free agent this year. That'd be crazy. I never even thought about that. I'm going to trade CJ Miles to the Heat for a pretty solid first round pick next year. I mean, I don't know if it's solid, but screw it. I'll take it anyways. And then let me get to my other picks. Oh, they traded the sixth pick for Vucevic. Dang. Can you not, can you not auto sim to your next pick? Okay. It just starts taking really long when they do trade or they're making a trade every single pick. Holy hell. All Pierce for a 12th pick. What are you out of your mind? Every pick. I'm about to, they traded with each other. Sam Decker for Nikola. Be Why would you trade? How did Nikola Pekovic allow you to trade up? He's on his last leg. I just wanted to pick my second. You know, at this point, I don't care. I really don't care. Uh, Y'all got it. 73. Oh, man. I thought he'd be a little bit higher. That man was averaging 30 in Greece. He's got some potential, though. He can almost shoot the three. His layup and dunk stats are all standing dunk at least is good. His post stats are pretty good. Rebounding is mid. Defense is bad. Oh, man. He might be a bust. We might have just drafted a bust. All right. Well, you know what, though? I will say this. If he does pan out, he is Jokic. So there's that at least. Why would I sign a 58 overall? In what world would I possibly want that? I'll take this dude. But I mean, the 58, come on. Now. Tim Duncan's a free agent. Oh, God. Is there anybody of value? I mean, yeah, maybe Dwight. Uh, oh, we just drafted a center. Is there any free agents? Anything? Dwayne Wade, 34 years old. Ugh. 27 million per year at 34 for four years. Can I see offers? Celtics, you might have it, bro. Literally, he was just on the Mavericks and they have bird rights and they're not even offering that. A lot of teams, though, are chalking it up for Dirk, even though he's 38. Dwight, like I said, I'm good. I lost since pretty elite, but I don't know. I don't know if it's worth not tanking another year to get Ty Lawson. I might go and sign JR, though. That might be the one. Bro, one year? Screw it. What if I just offered Dwayne Wade a mean one year bag? Like, I'm talking, how much money do we have? Oh, uh, the max. Yeah, the max one year. If I just did this, like, what would he say? Oh, dang, we're second. We're a very close second. What if I did that with a couple of these guys? Like, Dirk? Oh, yeah, yeah, because Dirk could replace Kristaps for a year. What was Dirk doing last season? 23 points? Real, would be real appreciated over here. You do have some good offers. I can't lie. But I don't think none of them are offering you close to the max, Dirk. The max? Bro, we're trash. We don't, you know what I'm saying? We're, all of our players are young. Come over here. I'll just give you the max. The absolute max. Oh, man. We're going to get one year at Dirk. Old man Dirk. That's pretty funny. That's a chess move. Honestly, though, with all that being said, Ty Lawson, if I did the exact same thing, would also be a great addition. That man averaged 16 and 10 last year. I could probably sign two of them, actually. The thing is, is that I could sign Ty Lawson to a three-year deal and then just trade him for a pick. A, I honestly don't feel like doing that today. I feel like, I don't know, playing it more normally. And B, I don't feel like risking having to pay Ty Lawson that much money for that many years. Let's do Ty Lawson 16 million. I feel like this, yeah, this is for sure enough to uh, sign both of them. Oh yeah, we're going to get both of them. Evan Fournier, Dirk, and Ty Lawson match Evan Fournier's contract. Wow, that is, um, this will be an interesting year. This is a championship team. Probably not. Will it be fun? Yeah, maybe. How did Evan Fournier sign with the Spurs if I just matched his contract? How was that even possible? Dirk and Ty Lawson are here. Obviously, I'm going to have to move Drew to the two, which he played at for like seven years in New Orleans. But ladies, you're going to be holding a lot of bench. You know what I'm saying? You and Chris stops. Levine as well. Not going to lie. All I am seeing though is that we need a backup too. And JR, are you still out there? Oh my God. Dang, I don't have the money. We ran out of money. I'd say I lied though. We need a backup one. Jeremy Lin reunion? Hell no. Ooh, CJ McCollum unrestricted? Hey, I don't care what type of potential CJ McCollum got. He is a bucket getter. I'm average 10 on efficient shooting last year. Come on now. Give him a three year deal at that. CJ McCollum, sign him. Sorry, Langston Galloway. See ya. That's it for free agency. We can get out of there. Any improvements? Giannis is an 82. Ty Lawson is good. Dirk didn't regress, which is fine. Cool. Good by me. Carl Towns in 81. Levine is getting better. Yeah, this is great. This is looking real good. Belides, you have to earn your spot. 
stop, buddy. How the hell did Brian Roberts get here? Even Jokic got better. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Screw it in old 2K fashion. Let's get let's do the training camps. Oh, honestly, forget Giannis. I'm gonna give one to Towns. This is a real nice team for year two. But ladies will be getting minutes. So there's that. Come on, Doc. Hold it down. I love how these six things have been the exact same for over a decade, basically. Like the focuses. See, this is my sick, you know, twisted, demented mind working right here. And I'm not gonna do this trade, by the way. 100%. Um, Dirk and Ty Lawson and our pick this year for Clay Thompson could 100% very easily do this. I was offered this and everything. There it is. But I won't. I won't do it. And also, even, dang, even Frank Kaminsky was just a rookie averaging 10 points. But nope, I won't do it. I have more pride. And maybe there was a good reason because we have won a lot of games so far. Look at that. They're offering me Jabari Parker for Giannis. We're top five so far in the East. So far, we're number one, but we're losing some games. We're winning some games. We're, wow, we just lost a lot of games. Jesus. Giannis for Jeff Teague. I'm good. Ty Lawson for Darren Collison. I'm good. But also, though, I wanted to, uh, yeah, my league automation turn this on auto. All the uh, rotation changes just in case, like, some people, players suck or something. I'm like 99. Oh, I, I don't think I turned morale off. I just turned team chemistry off. That's fine. It will be all right. Hey, Devin Booker for Drew Holiday. He's not that good, though. I was about to trade for him. I was about to trade down and trade for him, but I decided not to. Uh, Justice Winslow, hello. Dang, Draymond Green for Ty Lawson. They're offering it too. Dang, he's not doing nothing though. Did they did they wait? They didn't even have advanced stats back in this day. That's how that's how old this game is. It was just straight normal stats. Wow. So no estimated wins. Merchant tree. Well, with that being said, today is a trade deadline. Oh, never mind. Here they are. They're just not on the other screen. Estimated wins. Look, there it is. It's Caesar McCollum. Dang, I don't care. I like you. Carl Towns is the best player on this team still, and so, Drew Holiday second, but Dirk is right there. I lost since after Porzingis and Giannis. I actually didn't expect that at all. I thought that'd be putting them way more of an impact. Hey, what's Belidi's averaging? 7.5 on 47%. That's not bad. Five five rebounds too. I should have thrown the uh, the potential thing on him actually. I just realized that. Especially because we literally know that Giannis is good. Um, we're, we're within like five games. I mean, we might end up being the eight seed. We're within five games of like the second seed. I saw this trade earlier too for Alfred Payton. And what's crazy is he's the same overall as Belidi's is. 75. Seven, he was a 74. He went up a little bit. Oh yeah, LeBron is an upcoming free agent. Oh my God. Um, we're just going to ride out this season. Actually, wait real quick. Uh, contract extensions. Drew Holiday. Let me check out. Let me check out what's it called. Our cap space. Giannis is too, but he's got to be restricted. Player contracts. Well, as of right now, we're under, but what about, dang, why is Boban making 5 million and 6 million? I could always free that off the cap because that's crazy. Next year is going to have to 100% be way less. I have so much respect for Drew Holiday. I'm going to re-sign him back prior to free agency. Come on. Also 2K, you know what I'm saying? This is how you make player re-signing simple. Click on it. Resign sign him done also he said i will resign and that's it oh yeah we just won a ton of games it was a oh dang dang we're how are we winning so many games we're still eight we're about it oh my we missed the playoffs we missed the playoffs ad won most valuable lyle won dpo i mean most of uh rookie of the year jesus christ he only shot 44 percent from the field but he averaged almost a double double at a 78 but i mean that's mid though maybe you know what i'm saying you might just become mid you know whatever we're not worried about you dang he had six blocks in the game already george hill wins six man ad wins dpoi as well most improved is manuel moutier westbrook's on the knicks any all nba players no actually no clippers believe Ladies makes the all rookie first. He did not score as high of a career high as uh, as Falk did, which was 23, I saw. But he only averaged four less points despite being buried on the bench in comparison. Half the minutes. Even Jackson House, the number one overall pick, is pretty mid. And the best part is we drafted the youngest player out of all of them. Oh, hey, maybe we made the right choice. Who knows? But that's insane, though, that we missed the playoffs last second. And we're already, and we're 42. 42 and 40. Tied with the Suns, and we missed it. Like, what was all that for, you know? I mean, Dirk had some dogs. Levine, pretty mid shooting. Honestly, I feel like we needed a guy to be able to shoot over 50%, not just 46. Like we didn't have one de definitive big man that's like, oh yeah, I'm going to be efficient. Sorry, Boban. He just didn't play. And the Suns win the ring. Who's on the Suns again? LaMarcus Aldridge. Nice. Good for you. Ashawn Prince retired from the Suns. The giraffe lottery. I did trade for that heat pick. Is there any chance in hell? Okay, I saw it. It was in the lottery. And our, oh yeah, right. Our own pick. Uh, uh, can we just, oh dang, you can't skip it at all on this? That's crazy. Neither one jumped up. That's fantastic. I'm going to look at the, uh, the prospects and I might trade up. The draft is rigged. The Lakers just jumped up from eight to top three. Also, I plan on actually playing with this team whenever that uh, opportunity comes in the playoffs. Jesus. Oh, the Lakers got the third pick. Come on, New York. Let's go. The Knicks got it. I'm about to go trade with you and steal your pick. Why is there so many Alfred? We had Alfred Payton, Alfred Jordan. The number one pick this year is supposed to be Alfred Jordan or maybe Sergi. I don't know. Sergey. He's only a 74, though. It's literally telling me we 100% scouted him. This guy's only a 75 and he's 23. I mean, Sergi might end up good, though. He's a 74 and he's he's like 20 so that's you know what i'm saying it's young all right i've been trying to move up in the draft but there we go finally 33 second round picks our two lottery picks and bulbon for the fifth
fifth pick. So he moved up into the top five. I don't even know if there's going to be anybody that crazy up there, but screw it. I'm not trading up any further. I'm tired of trading. First pick, Dante Terrell. What what overall? Did they draft another bus? Oh, well, he, no, he averages 31 from Arizona. 78 overall. Yeah, that's pretty good. And what? where was he in the prospect scouting? Oh, he was third. Dang. Where does he get the second Alfred? He's a 79. That's pretty good. That's very good, honestly. Lakers, I was trying to get this pick. I don't know which one this is. 75 mid. Mavericks hit Hal and at least he's a center. We didn't need one of those. Trust and believe. 17 trade offers. I might as well check him out. Oh, dang. We could just trade for Dante. Dang. Dang. We could just trade for the dude the Knicks just trade. We would have to trade one of our future picks, but that's not a that's not the worst idea in the world. He's definitely a power forward, though. To be fair, though, we do have to replace Dirk, but I'm acting like we don't have Porzingis behind him. He has a 90 standing dunk. Is contact dunk still a rating? I think it's just posterizer now. I'm not gonna lie, this stat this guy's stats are very like Kenneth Fareed S. So I don't know. I mean, to be fair, Kenneth Fareed was cooking in this era. Dang, his potential says A plus. I don't know about all that, but let me check out the, the draft board. Oh, this guy is still available. Oh my god. I know he's a 74, but I don't know. With the right tutelage, could become a star in this league. He's been literally guaranteed to go top five in every single mock draft. He went one, two, and five. 2K had him at number one, and they're literally 2K. I'm taking Sergey, Sergey, whatever the hell his name is. Maybe the Knicks are already, or whoever that was that offered me that dude. Maybe they maybe they regretted it already. Not draft, not drafting him. Oh God, please render. There we go. I don't think we have any other picks, nor do I care. Yep, he's a 74, as it said. Dante Terrell is a 78, but it's not a huge difference. He also has the most badges out of everybody, so there's that. Oddly enough, it's a really good off the dribble shooter from close and mid range but can't shoot standing um all right maybe you could get some floaters then or something and he's a garbage defender he's basically trey young quick though very quick I i'm i'm happy for it i'm happy for that pick okay yes 100 i'm declining ty lawson's option they knew it they literally know do they know yes yes they know chris paul declines his lebron doesn't even have an option also blake griffin declines his option so does rudy just in case maybe a backup backup plan wiggins is with the warriors already he looks kind of weird in this game oh yeah Giannis is a free agent we got to re-sign him i don't know we we should re obviously we're not re-signing Dirk and Ty Lawson right now but I don't know if we should re-sign Giannis right now or wait until he's restricted to be fair they let um Evan Fournier leave when he was restricted so I might just I might just re-sign him now low ball this a little bit keep it five years bring it a little bit further if he accepts this before a free agency we'll take it bet five years 78 million I'm taking that we got 35 million in cap space left and where is LeBron did they offer him right a hey, good thing I signed Giannis because that's crazy am I gonna be the team to give Chandler Parsons the bag that's disappointing that's very disappointing we might have to go and sign Dirk and Ty Lawson again. All right, we're doing our straight up one year deal thing again. Don't mind Nerlens Noel well getting signed. I don't really care. One year deals for Zach Randolph and Ty Lawson. Insane. And yes, we're moving on from Dirk. I think he's going to regress too much this year. So I gave them all the money in the world. And that's it. for are and see Cook. Oh my God. Is that Chris Copeland? Give him a one year. Yep, that's our last player. Carl Towns in 85. Giannis is also in 85. Zach Randolph regressed, but who cares? Porzingis, 79. Levine, 77. Belidi, 76. And now do I give him or Sergi the uh the boost and potential? I think I'm gonna give it to Sergi. We're gonna we're gonna, you know what I'm saying, lock in on him. Oh dang, I didn't even do it. I skipped right past it. Well, who cares? Dang, they're starting Sergi over Ty Loss. Is he that no, I gotta check. Okay, I gotta check now. Is he that good? No way his potential is that high. 90. Oh, snap. Hey, I'ma let them automatically hand, handle it. But yeah, that might be that might be the what's it called? That might be the best plan of action. At the very least, run a 10 man rotation because if he gets bumped out, then he'll still play. Maybe Maybe. that is crazy yo no you know how i just made it a 10-man rotation so that he plays look at this they've got him over people that are higher overalls than him even when they moved him to they moved to the bench i'm assuming he was struggling or whatever but they still have him over people that were this game was smarter than the current 2ks in terms of this because nowadays if you're not starting you're just gonna get moved to the bench all the way if you're if you're a lower overall than the people in the bench you're gonna get moved either way the 10-man rotation is fine uh, i'm gonna turn this off for now i'm pretty sure yeah i don't, I don't feel like seeing this also i don't care if it's sir gay sir G. I'm calling him Sergi. I don't care. Trade deadline, and we are, guess what? The first best team in the conference, the best by uh, almost, you know what I'm saying? Two two wins, two and a half, nothing too crazy. Giannis is leading the team. We have a myriad of great scores right now with Giannis leading with just 14 and a half points. I'm not mad at it. Zach Levine cannot hit a shot. Jesus. And look at that. Jokic best up points per 36. Estimated wins added at Towns and Giannis, and then Ty Lawson. Zach Randolph kind of far down for his overall but who cares Belidi's putting putting in a pretty solid effort Sergi as well only negative player is Kelly Oubre and he barely plays if ever yeah Sergi is averaging 10 points in 21 minutes that's very good Russell Westbrook of the Knicks wins an MVP and Dante Terrell gets rookie of the year to be fair yeah you're 78 overall you're pretty good Julius Randle sixth man of the year AD DPOI Jaleel Oak for most improved 22 years old averaging 
22 points and that 12 rebounds at an 86 overall he's just as high as cat and Giannis are if not a little bit better i should have drafted him honestly but uh, he makes the all nba second team michael carter williams made it at an 80 and we didn't have no players make it to be fair our scoring was very well distributed and sergi makes the all rookie second team averaging 10 and 5 on kind of mid shooting but who cares oh great we're playing the lakers ah simcast my favorite it's still the same screen for the past 20 years or whatever they do i agree with it watch them first game it's al horford and jared sullinger i'll end the video if we lose these cheapskate scrubs oh they have rondo and rubio too and pat bev eh. they have like the team of players who don't get stats oh my god andre roberson pat bev and tony snell plus ricky rubio who can't score plus rajon rondo who's not known for scoring and then you just got cody zeller amir johnson and robin lopez three of the most just basketball players R uh, rookie randy porter and then leading scorers jared sullinger and al horford it just doesn't get any worse than this i'm gonna be honest with you they won they won the next game all right simulate by game because yeah i was about to say we're not losing this series we're up three two four two cool second round spurs win the first game lose the second win the third lose the fourth lose the fifth i'm not gonna change anything if we win we win yolo oh we're not we're not gonna win all right well it was a good year ty lawson jesus christ buddy zero for six seven for nine from free throw you are a free throw merchant porzingis two for 11 did anybody actually play bad like i wasn't even gonna check the playoffs i was gonna check regular season no i don't think so all right who's the finals MVP? I want to see. Wait, uh, no. Oh, Anthony Davis again. Dang, the first overall pick. He's basically just the Giannis, which is what I honestly thought he was going to be when I was a kid, you know, growing up seeing Anthony Davis. Derek finally retired because he wasn't on our team. Pretty sure we don't have a good pick this year. Yeah, we don't have a pick. Ba can I back out? Oh, I can't back out. Six has got the first pick. Fantastic. Is there any? Whoa, what just happened? Oh, I thought everything simulated for a second. Is there any like insane 77? Man, they're good, but who cares? This dude's a 76. This dude's a B minus. We gotta we gotta grow past the drafting years because look at our team at this point. I mean, come on now. We just we, we gotta be past that at by now. Speaking of that, trade finder picks. We got pick 29. Uh I'm gonna start trading our picks. I feel like we're gonna be a playoff lock by now. So how Drew Howdy do this year? All right. Um, I'm not even gonna trade the pick, just pick some garbage. Uh it, it it's the Kafka. Resign all these scrubs. Thank you, Carl. Lamarcus decline. Look, I don't believe this until I see them in the free agency pool. Melo accepted his. Paul George. That would have been a fantastic one. He accepted his. God, I can't stand these people. Zach Levine's another player I gotta think about re-signing, but he, he he's restricted. So we'll, we'll just wait. That's because we're gonna sign Paul Millsap. Hooray. That's really gonna change things. I'm really playing chess out here, though. I'm just giving players bags and keeping them pushing. Yeah, for real for real though like yeah we need we need a power forward uh, i'm gonna move on from signing two people i'm just gonna sign zach levine back we can give him whatever money he wants and then i'm gonna sign I'm gonna, I'm gonna give paul Millsap the bag this year the one year bag let's see maybe i'll try i haven't been trying to finesse this whole time though maybe i'll try and finesse and just trade him like mid-season because obviously free agency is not giving us much fruition one year 20 million dollar deal he's gonna join here and i'll offer zach levine one of my own contracts oh he don't even want a lot of money that's good wasn't gonna give you it anyways or whatever you know it's crazy ty lawson is still available and i'm gonna be honest with you i might just make him a uh, a clippers lifer or something because i think he'd still be a good fit <laughs> even just as a backup let's give him a one year did we have bird rights is that what this is maybe no we don't i don't know how we're able to offer him so much money yep ty lawson's coming back oh or not all right are they just gonna say that and then lie to me like, tell me i can offer him that and then no how am i still offering him this money oh bring chris came in back to the clippers 100 percent, 1000 percent even there's no way chris came in is mulling offers thank you I get the hell out of free agency towns in 80 Giannis up there. Chugganov went up by five. Belidi's got lapped by Chugganov. I'm not gonna lie. I checked during Belidi's rookie season, dog. His potential's in 81. He's mid. He's a, he's a bust, basically. Yeah, he's, he, no, he's 100% a bust. This dude definitely isn't. I didn't even give him a training camp yet, which I'm about to do right now because I'm not forgetting this year. Oh, bet we got three of them. Chugganov, hold that. Belidi's, I still got hope. Hold that. Screw it. Just in case there's anything left in there for you. I, I don't know. Jokic is one year left. Screw it. Throw it on Giannis. I don't know why. Like, it doesn't feel that weird that I currently have Towns, Giannis, Drew holiday dang I, I just realized that we have Giannis and drew i swear to god i haven't noticed that once this entire orzingis levine mccollum and Jokic. this whole time it just i haven't thought about it once all right doc rivers time to shine oh wait let me do the smart thing here you know it's funny like throughout this video i have yet to think about this team once in basketball terms when, when you think about this team like bradley beal is literally exactly what this team needs cj mccollum doesn't even play right now we could trade him for anthony morrow who the hell cares that that'll be the 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 penalty we take by taking 
take it on Bradley Beal. Because when you look at this team, starting lineup, right? Chugganaw, who's still young, and then Drew Holiday, who's more of like a defender than he is an offensive player, at least, you know, forget this season's stats, like, you know what I'm saying, 13 points. And then you got Giannis, whoever the hell we always slot into the four, and Towns. It's just missing a wing score in the wing era. We're missing our Chris Middleton, literally. So, uh, Bradley Beal, you can be the Chris Middleton. I'm just gonna accept this trade as it is. See a CJ McCollum. Bradley Beal, welcome to the team. And now we got Drew coming off the bench. He can play back a point. He'll be all right. I won't even change the position. He'll be okay. Porzingis will finally start after 75 years of mentoring. And that's it. Look, man, I, I went all those years without ever doing the thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Trading the guy that we signed right after we signed him. But screw it. It's time. All right, bet Towns is ready to resign. Drew is ineligible, but Towns. Yeah, buddy, I'm not letting you leave. They're, we're not going to find a free agent better than you at this point. I don't even know if you're that good. Yeah, yeah, you're showing it this year. Never mind. 55 games, 18 points, 15 rebounds. Come on now. Towns, three-year deal. Try and cut that down a couple dollars. That works. Bang. Porzingis, what you doing this year? 13 and nine in the starting role. Rebounds up by two on okay enough shooting. Whatever. You're 23. We want you back. Porzingis, hold this contract. Kelly Oubre, are you playing well? Well, yeah, I'm gonna hold that off till the thing ends to so the season ends. Hey, Clippers fans, better get used to my mug. I just re signed. Hashtag bright future. We're on a tear the second half of the season. Emmanuel Moutier is the most valuable. I don't remember what pick he was in the fantasy draft, but holy hell. 24, 9, and 10. The MVP, Emmanuel Mud. That's what Fizzle, David Fizzle used to call this man Mud. And now he's the most valuable player. Who the hell is Greg Madison? Six foot point guard with the bald head. Julius Randle six man of the year again deandre jordan dpoi sergi most improved player in his starting role 15 and 7 a game i mean he was already starting last year but it was on and off elijah nelson dang this dude is still in the current 2k so he must be a worker at 2k and why is he sweating you're the gm look at john wall go carl towns makes the all nba second team dante terrell makes the all nba third team the dude we could have traded for but we are the second seed not bad Let's check the stats real quick carl towns led in scoring beal provided exactly what i thought he would he kept up that exact score if not more that he had been putting up in previous years oh well a little bit less but you know what nonetheless i digress and Belidis even put up 10 and 6 off the bench estimated wins towns and Giannis, uh or at least towns pretty far away the leader of the basketball organization and sergi man look at you that man anthony morrow has an 80 offense and a 59 defense that is insane 95 shot three he has literally the three point and jump shooting attributes of a prime kevin durant his layup ain't that bad either it's very serviceable this guy used to be so great in 2k and in real life to be fair all right first round up 3-2 on the nuggets and that's a 4-2 second round playing the timberwolves i don't know who's on these teams but you know i mean if we lose to them we'll figure it out third round playing memphis up 2-1 tied 2-2 down 3-2 i wanted to see who's on, who's on there oh it's ad we're playing ad does a porzingis garden him? i want to see the uh, lineup yeah porzingis garden him we got james young at the two celtics legend knowing james young is known a little bit too much ball i'm not gonna lie at this point in time at this point in history and we won the hell out of that game game seven in los angeles it is the end of the fourth we are down by and also these these scores keep on being consistently lower than they are nowadays and it throws me off oh i didn't mean to jump in should, screw it. should i try why not i said i'd play i'm pretty sure i put it on superstar difficulty so i don't want to you know i'm saying and my missouri um okay and the drew pass the ball in drew holiday let's go run the pick and roll cat run the pick and roll yes sir oh who's cutting cut Giannis. cut Giannis. lay up there you go Giannis. big man how tall is he 6 11 already yeah am i actually gonna give us a shot should i just be watching it i don't know but i feel like playing today so who cares okay towns against valentunas i'm right there and it does not matter the power of post game in the previous 2ks what a time dang cat is wide open and is anyone i saw i mean Giannis had just like cut like real smart you know what i'm saying everything educated oh look at the pump fake oh my cat this feels better than the current 2k and oh yeah that's something i haven't talked about yet yeah th this feels better let me double team real quick go quicker double team dang what the hell oh get the board get the board let's go Giannis, run run throw to drew drew one more one more down to sergi sergi and one oh i also have no clue what sergi's jump shot is but knowing 2k it is probably awful and oh man that was awful and wow he missed it there we go green light almost uh yeah almost keyword ad i left him over for mid-range and it was a bad idea oh my went right around him lay up euro step and one Wait, let me make sure while i'm i honestly i wouldn't be like devastated okay it is on superstar they always bring this gatorade thing up and then you can't see your free throw timing 
Dang, there we go. Yep, yep. And I probably still missed up. Well, this game's over anyways. We lost by six points. Not my fault. You know, I actually cut the deficit down. Jesus Christ, they're all silhouettes. And the Grizzlies sweep the finals. So we gave them their toughest match yet by far. I mean, not by far. They, they had two other six game series. AD yet again, goaded. Kobe retired. Agasol retired. Amari retired. Thankfully, nobody on our team. I don't think we have anybody that's old anymore. I'll, okay, I'm not about to check the draft lottery. We don't even have a draft pick within this range. So I'm not about to look at that. This 2K is literally like smart because look at this. Spurs, I was about to accept this trade because I saw a first round pick for this, you know, garbage package I'm putting them up. But look at this. Trevor Booker, three years, $19 million deal. They're trying to get rid of a trash contract for a one year expiring deal and a not bad contract. So hey, that says a lot about, you know, how backwards the trade uh, process has regressed. With that being said, I just threw, I just threw this man Anthony Moore in here alone. They threw an Itsuki Kafa and now the Pistons are offering me two firsts. Yeah, uh, don't mind if I do. We do not need Anthony Moore. DJ watching for two seconds works works for me and that's it's at the pistons again um we don't have any picks in the draft it was running like insanely good players or something just out of curiosity this dude 100 scouted i mean yeah yeah mm, he also can't shoot and he's a shooting guard not gonna lie though he might finally be the one when it comes to being a star because he has a 94 shot tendency or at least so it says and on top of that i mean his ratings are good enough to where he's gonna average good stats on probably like 42 percent shooting in his first season 84 driving dunk too yeah he's basically italian wiggins but if he didn't become a bust for the first like couple of years it's funny because pick two is a 74 overall that's a huge drop off but we're good we got beal now i'm not gonna overthink it and we got sergi don't forget that Kyrie Irving declined his player option but well i'll probably just sign back with the team anyways kelly uber is a restricted free agent drew holiday what oh yeah right he was ineligible i forgot about that um how much money do we have and we're negative in the cap even with him not signed okay so yeah with that being said yeah that is true we did just have to re-sign a lot of people that's funny our cap space dreams have ended so i'm gonna go ahead and just re-sign everybody i even gave chris came in a deal dang only him and Jokic accepted let's not accept these right now hang clay thompson's here is there any way we can make up 14 million more oh you can't trade during free agency during this what that's crazy to be honest though they're actually really isn't any money i could make up aside from these rookies that i could get rid of pretty easily or whatever yeah i mean we traded for beal and beal's making 14 million simple as that i'm not mad at it drew holiday now is might sign with the clipper with the blazers over us and it's telling me i already negotiated with drew so i literally can't even go back he's gonna he's gonna leave us for the uh for the clippers the blazers i mean dang i was just about to diss wesley matthews and say just like and now it's not like he's the greatest player to ever touch a basketball or anything like literally that word for word but then i clicked on him and he he averaged 17 and a half points per game last year. So I was going to offer him to replace Drew since we literally can't re-sign him. Yeah, screw it. Let's offer Wesley Matthews. Got a four-year, $30 million deal over there. I'm going to give him all the money I possibly can, but on a two-year deal instead. How about that? Yep, there you go. Wesley, welcome to the team. Drew Holiday didn't sign. Oh, wait. Wait, that means that can I just overpay for him? Because I have bird rights. We about to build a super team, super team for real. Tell me this is going to work. Please tell me this is work. Oh, yeah. We're we are deep in the luxury tax and it does not matter. It is over with. Look at that. Hold on. Now we have Drew. We signed Wesley Matthews. We got Kelly Oubre back. We are good for many, many years at this point. B, we just got to re-sign you at some point during this next season so you don't leave us. And things are looking beautiful right now. Any any old people that want to come around? Hey, you know what? Clippers legend Jared Dudley. Currency over. Counts the 90. Well, Drew and Wesley Matthews got older, but I don't care. I know your value. We still got Doc Rivers. No wonder we lost in game seven. Dang, I simulate through the whole season. Dang. Wait, I didn't, I didn't re-sign Beal. Well, that's the game the bag at the end. Evan Fournier most improved. That's crazy. You didn't even do that well. I'm a hater. Clippers, Towns, second team. Makes it over Jaleel Okafor. That's right, Jaleel. What you gonna do about that? We are second in the conference yet again. I mean, like current round. We are down 2-3 to the Suns. And they have 20 less wins than us on the season. That's insane. Oh, we beat them by 30 in the next one. Towns at 24 and 23. Jesus, what's funny is we're cooking a multitude of Clippers. Lou Williams, Wesley Johnson, Reggie Jackson, Danilo Gallinari, Boban, and Lowell Fields, who isn't a Clipper. But also... Just just notably, this team has LaMarcus Aldridge and uh, it's actually wait, that's that's funny. They have LaMarcus and Tyson, which is the I, I, I've mentioned this before, but that, that's a team that the Suns were trying to make when they signed Tyson to like a big deal that one year. And why are we really about we're really about to lose this? Who's playing bad? Porzingis is on one and Beal is playing garbage, but now we're stuck with him. I'm gonna try and make the comeback. Why not? It will be fun. We will play basketball. Dang, why? Why is Beal like fading downwards when I'm not even controlling him? Chuganov, I do not know your jump shot, so I'm kind of scared, but okay. Um, down to town. Oh yeah, oh yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, man. Like the actual feel of 16 is ge like genuinely better than the newer day feel, which is so weird to say. And oh, I, 
Dang. Oh, you're chugging up. Oh, you're chugging up. Lay. Hit that. I like how the layups bounce around the rim just for a sense of anticipation. I'm double teaming for no reason. He passes to the corner. Why is Jared Dudley in the game? What the hell? And yeah, that's a bucket. Why is Jared Dudley in the game? Oh, yeah, chugging off. Pass that down. Towns and one. Dang. Lamarcus fouled out himself. Towns with his old free throw. What? He missed? That first one should have been green. Come on, dog. All right, double team this. And then why is Stinson in? Come on, man. Let's have some shame here. Porzingis, corner. Step back. Step back. Nope. Didn't step back. Dang. They changed his jumper or something? What the hell? He did not. That was not his jumper in this year. I know that for a fact, bro. I literally remember it word for word, bar for bar. Oh, we lost to Lou Williams. Dang. They just bump steeled me. Porzingis. Porzingis. Come on. Really? Oh, I don't want to see the celebration as we lose so i'm just gonna sim cast out but yeah i missed two threes with porzingis aside from that i don't know i don't know what happened in this game defense maybe yeah reggie jackson and lou williams cooked here clippers have been eliminated again in an early round i think there's cursed honestly i think it's actually it might be time actually to fire doc rivers genuinely chicago uh derrick Ro derrick rose he got drafted to chicago again well him and james harden win the championship Wait, and joakim look at that they really all got drafted in the draft it was 15 16 the first yeah he he re-signed with the bulls and Jabari Parker is an 86. That's crazy. Arden finals MVP as expected. Draft lighter. I don't think I got to pick. All right. So I'm back a few days later. I'm about to finish this rebuild up. Look at this, right? So boom, we got the NBA draft and everything. Honestly, I don't see this is the issue though, is that I feel like I got to finish this up. But at the same time, I don't feel like I have to do anything specifically because this team is very good. I know what else I could really do for them. So these three picks in the trade finder, see what happens. Why would I trade down for pick 18? I don't care what future pick I get. Who's the best player in this draft? Who is, um, is Damian Higgins. Okay. Oh, it says he's an 80 overall or ready the 81 shot tendency okay if i could find a way to finesse this pick and i feel like i could very easily do exactly that that, that might be a really good year because he's an 80 80 is different 80 is a different breed damian higgins would be getting uh the fake gordon hayward whatever team has the first pick let me talk to you actually can i just go to the i doubt i doubt they'll get me through the trade finder toronto toronto oh dang Kristaps Porzingis for the okay so that's not happening right I'm not doing this that's what we're gonna do right okay so it's only a, a three star I think teams are giving up on the draft or something I don't know maybe they've seen some of the bums that we've got in 14th pick 28th pick right just click that make sure yeah they don't want that matter of fact can we give a uh, where are the Clippers right so a lot of our own future picks throw in another future first and then throw in why do we have JJ Beret on a three-year deal throw him into look this is a respectable first overall pick package because I was planning on throwing in Wesley Matthews as well I'm gonna try it without without JJ Berea okay that's good to know they they want a good amount there we go there it is JJ Ray was the was the tipping point. So we now have the first overall pick in the draft. That's what happens when you play your cards correctly. Now, we, you know what I'm saying? We're really dominating out here in the trade market. Try to trade a decent amount, but you know, here we are. And with the first pick in the draft, your boys, the Los Angeles Clippers, we've dominated. We, we've gotten the first pick like about a draft. Kyrie, you know what's crazy too? We're in 2020. Like we are in 2020 now. Damian Higgins. You know what's funny? Everyone's had that conversation with their friends when you've talked about how cool it's going to seem when 2K gets the 2K20. And then 2K20 wasn't even that good. So kind of anticlimactic. I just traded all my picks, right? I don't have any more picks. Damien Higgins, he kind of looks like he'd be a dog. Like Luca with a little bit more grit, like Luca on crack, but like genuinely. Oh, he is 21 years old, but I feel like the peak start, this was a simpler time. If a player had potential, he's going up, unless he was very old. Honestly, it might've been written to the system anyways, but yeah, there definitely wasn't a like a, a thing to edit. You know what I'm saying? The peak start, peak it or whatever. I don't care about Roman, get the hell out of here. He looks like, um, dang, it's, it's on the tip of my tongue. Not his own, yeah. I was just looking at his own, yeah. He doesn't look like his own, yeah. And he averaged 14, oh, he's a center, Never mind. All right, conclude the draft. Come on, there you go, 80 over overall damien far and away best player i mean i wouldn't say far and away these two are good as well this damien's best trade is defense it's probably something you could always use didn't even realize we had another second oh yeah right i didn't trade it this dude this dude is crazy looking respect though you know what i'm saying you got to have a crazy dude on every team and they signed him too i mean all right that's fine chugging off we're gonna take him back ron accepted his player options so no free agency and tonus belides going into free agency and so was bradley beal so um off the assumption that free agency isn't gonna be that good let's go let's go get bradley beal back there's a lot of money let's try and cut it down like to you you know it's not worth it to cut it down just a little bit just give him just give him exactly what you want even put it up one there you go hey also too i just realized yeah we're, we're kind of i mean yeah we're, we're over the salary cap as it is so just take back who you can i was actually about to go back and offer bradley beal more money knowing that and see there they are bet we'll take them good don't even worry about this damien lord is a restricted dang he's restricted at 30 that doesn't make sense but maybe it does i don't know how that would be managed but he, he was drafted pretty no it doesn't make sense he's ordering the second contract i don't know how this is possible this contract like reset in this i don't i don't know back in these days sometimes an old player 
player would be like, hey, we'll come to your team for no money. Well, I mean, you're old, but you're also not good. Like, why is it locking in OJ Mayo's years at three? I'm pretty sure this is one of those types of contracts. Maybe he just got waived and you have to give him that contract. That's how it works sometimes until your waiver's clear. Like, for example, assuming an NBA team had cap space, if someone was to release LeBron tomorrow in real life, I'm pretty sure his normal contract implications stay on him for the next two days or something. And then after that, it clears and then you could sign him to whatever the hell you want. Also, the best player I've seen so far, I mean, maybe Chris Humphrey, sure, but no. Give me a Aaron Aflalo on a one-year deal because you know whatever why not as, as long as he accepts it though yeah there it is that was our mid-level exception i'll take it we're gonna move the move the hell out of here towns is a 92 Giannis is capped out i feel like this is pretty realistic for you know what i'm saying having him boosted up a little bit in this day and age like you know what i'm saying I'm, i don't want to be 99 that's kind of cheating but uh, we would have went way earlier in the draft chris stops is an 82 or well whatever everybody else basically said the same levine yeah he's pretty mid but he was elite back in these games in 2k levine is one of the greatest levine is like like you know how um you know how like people bring up i mean i, I won't say rudy gay but like when people bring up Gerald Green and those type of guys in 2K. Like Levine was them, but he was actually too good for even the conversation. Like he doesn't even get brought up in the underrated 2K players, even though he was like a 74 overall because he was just that good. Levine in the 2K15, my my team, his silver card was, or 2K16, whatever. Is this his rookie year? I don't know. Was one of the most elite players ever. Matter of fact, yeah, this isn't his rookie year, right? Because yeah, he was drafted in yeah, 2014. So that's probably why his potential is so kind of low. His team is super elite. I mean, I don't know what else I could really do. We're tied for, well, I don't know. They've got the Clippers sitting number one at every every single ranking jesus every single one the knicks are number two shout out to the knicks russell westbrook and dante terrell the dude that we could have traded for still but we actually know i'm about to go check the. I'm, I'm not gonna remember this terrell was the first pick in 2017 was that the year that we drafted belides no okay i was gonna be mad if, in that case but no we drafted this guy that year that's that's a good pick and he fits our team better because we already have i mean we have poor good. the lineup this season we got belides higgins off the bench uh drew holiday still zach levine Ubre. this is really good um in case anyone ever I don't know, falls off a cliff or some If Lalo, you could shoot. Yes, I could shoot. And we have not lost a game until that Sixers game. And since the first game of the season, then lost to the Knicks again. So this might be the year of the true dominance. We'll see. You know what I really wish? I know this is in a fairy tale world, but I really, really wish my teams were still up on these old games because I can't stand. I've really grown out of love of the my team in the recent years of 2K. I still played it the last few years, but I think I really just declared like three weeks ago that I'm done with my team. Like I don't, it, I don't see the perk in it anymore. I just really, I, it's always the gameplay. I just hate the gameplay this year. I can't stand the. I love rec center gameplay. I've been posting the rec center videos on my third channel or whatever, but I can't, I can't stand it on a, on 5v5 when you're actually controlling the whole team. It gets too weird. Damian Lillard won MVP, by the way, who was actually a free agent. And I think he signed with a new team, right? Did he? Yep. Yeah. OKC let him go, even though he was a uh, restricted free agent. Stanley Johnson wins six man of the year. Roman wins rookie of the year. I would assume our guy wouldn't since he was off the bench. DeAndre Jordan, DPOY, he had an error. And Doc Rivers, coach of the year, AKA our coach, Doc Rivers. That didn't even hit me the first time I read it. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff here Dante Terrell hello Emmanuel Moutier former MVP himself unless I imagined that I'm pretty sure that happened a few days ago when I was recording this the first time first seed in the conference who are we playing let's just check real quick we're playing dang the third rate oh my we're playing LeBron in the first round LeBron is the eighth seed that is annoying and he's got D'Angelo Russell and Chris Middleton LeBron back with D'Lo like in real life right now actually we've still got a whole team of under 27 year old players basically except for Drew let's see though simulate game game one is to us game two is to us game three is to them game four is to us and game five is to us next round playing memphis and anthony davis oh my god yes the, the dude who won mad championships first game is to us second game is to us okay this is the this is the pure dominance displayed right there because they were dominating the league for many many years and now another round and um mike conley i mean i'm not really you know shaking in my boots here i mean their offense is 15 so maybe it's that they're deep ah, ah. oh they got lyle they got the center i was thinking about drafting that one year he ended up going before us though after i had to reset the console but nonetheless i digress we lost the first game but we were coming back and they're running out the game with the next few yep we're in the finals and we're playing orlando they are the first seed but they are 15th ranked but it is blake griffin who i was just talking to my friends about he is literally just previous Giannis. like the way that he dominated the league in early you would have never there i've never seen so much hype oh they got jackson house was definitely like the top pick in one of the drafts i remember that name i'd love to see some gameplay because i'm pretty sure i'm gonna end this if we win the championship so oh well we're, we're cooking them regardless first game it's over with second game it's over with we smoked them again i still a hey, close game still you know what i'm saying in the cards possibly third game it is over with oh my god dominance look at i haven't even looked at the stats yet it is getting cooked though had a bunch of six players with over 16 points including belides and the rookie porzingis just play defense to get rebounds i guess and maybe the last game oh my yo when you were dominant in this game you were dominant we are going out and cooking but it did get close at some point but it is it is over oh i want to jump in and see the thing the championship but whatever chugging off 26 7 and 5 with five rebounds 10 for 16 shooting beal 21 chug chug ch how else could you pronounce that chugano 
What? No, we're just going to say Chugganov. It sounds cool. At the end of the day, in the playoffs, as I believe he just won final. Actually, no, you don't see the finals MVP until you advance it. Playoff stats. Uh, shout out to Kyrie for leading. But Chugganov averaged 20. Our rookie, our former rookie, at least, drafted player from like four years ago now. Bradley Beal averaged 19. Another good pickup. Remember when we traded for him? I don't remember what we traded for him. I'm sorry. It's, but like I said, it's been a couple days since I finished this. Carl Towns, 16. Higgins, the rookie, 14. Efficiently not bad. Porzingis was next up. Giannis didn't really score much in this, but screw it. He did his job. Enough of his job whatever Belides and so on and so forth so this is what the team ended up doing we ended up smoking the entire playoffs only lost what one two games two so we went 16 and two entire playoff run for us to click this real quick who was finals mvp is it going to tell us sergi chugganov sergi sounds cooler and uh that is it i think this has been a grueling nba 2k16 rebuild not even grueling it's been enjoying but in gru grueling to get this team good it has been how many years i don't know i gotta look six year re rebuild simulation whatever and finally a ring for your clippers i thought we might have been cursed at some point and well they think they're cursed in real life as well and they might be right i literally clicked on the lottery just to see if we would get a top three pick and we literally we stole i think the pistons pick and the pick fell down to four out to the raptors we don't care though that's funny actually i stole their pick last year didn't i there's actually just two more things i wanted to check first off how good was the rookie this year 77 not as good as our guy last year and speaking of our guy last year even though i'm not going forward i wanted to check what would be his potential a fake jason preston 88 potential not bad for a number one overall pick thanks for watching let's gain seven subscribers on here for the amount of talented players of the clippers have ever withheld and it's been real it's been fun but it ain't been real fun. Uh